the reality of the moment, the, the time has come to actually see if my theory of this infamous demonstration uh, is true or not. There's only two ways that it's going to end. One, by my own will, or two, in a body bag. My worry is at times that perhaps Chris thinks he has no limitations, uh, and that fearlessness that he has could get him in trouble. This is a coffin that we picked out. Um, just the only thing that we had uh, change was the top so that we were able to show people the perspective. I really am possessed with pushing my own envelope. I'm going to push it too far one day. Hopefully it won't be a situation where I die because of it. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be chain and handcuffing Chris with peerless regulation handcuffs and leg irons. He's going to be put into a coffin. He's going to be lowered nine feet into the ground so there's six feet of dirt on top of him. He's going to have to get out of the manacles. He's going to have to break the plexiglass. He's going to have to start digging his way to the surface. And he can't dig straight up because the ground will collapse in on him. So he's got to dig from side to side and worm his way up to the top and try to get out. So if you succeed, you're number one. If something goes wrong, he's definitely dead. All right, let's do this. Everybody looks pretty grim. Yeah. Chris, he told me he prepared, and I just hope and pray that they didn't overlook anything that, God forbid, um, something could go wrong. I don't sleep the night before. I have knots in my stomach. Honestly, I, I don't know how much more a person can be expected to take. And how many people ever have to look at their loved one in a coffin unless they really are dead? I love you. It's not an image that is something that you want to see, um, ever. I didn't know that Chris said that he would want to stay in that coffin if he died. And I guess I'm supposed to respect that wish, but... There's no way I'm leaving him in there. That's not going to be his final resting place. Once that dirt starts falling on top of the coffin, he's going to hear a loud sound. It's going to be bang, bang, bang. Each one of those pounds can be nerve-wracking, and then it fills up, and all of a sudden, you don't hear any pounding. It's silence. But it's not just silent now. It's completely dark. And while he's in pitch black, now he's got to try to get the handcuffs and the manacles. And he's got to think about exactly where he is, where he's positioned. He's just got to focus. And if he takes his mind off that focus for one second, Chris won't be coming out of that hole. him he'll say mom please don't worry I promise you as his favorite words to me I promise you it's okay so no matter what he does it's always scary I think the people up top is gonna to be very nerve-wracking for them it's gonna be fun and giggles in the beginning you know when he's lowered in the ground oh it looks funny you know and uh, but then you'll see the mood change about 15 20 minutes into it the mood's gonna start changing It's, you know, it's funny to talk about it, but now that it's happening, to see that amount of dirt dumped on top of that coffin seems insane. I can't imagine how it can withstand the weight. It's starting to rain. I, I don't know, John. This is, this is not good. I've been sealed in the coffin, lowered into the ground. Now I have to get out. can't bury yourself in a coffin under tons of dirt and that not being dangerous. I mean, this is one where even Houdini would not do it under the conditions that Chris is doing. 
It's very soft. So there's a lot, you can see we have a lot of dirt left over because it's laid in there so lightly. If we get it too tight. Yeah. So let's work on smoothing it out now, get it nice and even. We knew that if it rained, it could be a major problem. You see, the dry dirt becomes wet, and when that happens, those little pockets of air that Chris needs to survive, well, they won't be there anymore, and we could be digging up a corpse. It's starting to rain. This could be a recipe for disaster. Well, the, the weather reports have no rain. That's what it always says. <laughs> yeah, this is California, I know, I know. We were really concerned about weather conditions because the rain was going to cause the dirt to be that much more heavy. And it was going to be hard for Chris to escape. There was that much more weight that was being borne by the coffin. And that much more dense material he had to go through to get above ground. And we all knew that an overly stressed coffin could collapse and kill Chris as quickly as it killed Joe Burris. <laughs> really starting to puddle up over there. No more rain, please. A little bit worried, you know, is this rain. It starts to compact the dirt. It becomes heavier. But that's what I was wondering, the weight factor, because, you know, you calculated for a certain amount of dirt. Now it's considerably heavier, especially on the top layer. And it's that top layer that's pushing down on him. I want to know when, when, when we're going to start to do something here. So, we are... You know what? This is an exciting time. Yeah, this is a long time. Too long. Having Chris's mom at Barrett Alive was too much. It was too much for her to handle emotionally. Watching your own son being buried, particularly after she lost her husband. Yeah. It's just the water seeping into the dirt. water, you know, we could be from where we could have been a pocket around the yeah. There came a point in time when a number of people came to me and said, you know what, this is not going right. We had to dig him out. And we had promised Chris that we would not do that. What's going on, John? Well, it's taken him a lot longer to get out than uh, we had uh, anticipated. But, uh, you know, the, the, the rain being an element that we hadn't expected, you know, that may have caused some, some problems for him. Um, you know, this is like the hardest part, you know. We don't know what's going on. Yeah, you, you're, you're, we're helpless right now, and it's Just, really... You don't know. EMT said they're going to give another 10 minutes, and they want us to dig him out.